Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here because I want to do an unready with me video. I've been meaning to film this for a while now, but today is the day that I'm going to do it. Um, so I'm going to just go through a basic nighttime routine. So today I went with a more natural look, but I am wearing false lashes. So let's just go ahead and start with taking these off. And even though I use a cleansing oil, I always use makeup remover, eye makeup remover. So I'm using the Sephora Instant Eye Makeup Remover. I like this one, but I like the one with oil more. So the, what is it, the waterproof one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and douse the cotton ball with it. And then I like to let it sit for a few minutes so that way I can just wipe it off. I do wear waterproof mascara and I'm an eye rubber. So I've been asked before, like, why do you need to use like an eye makeup remover if you use a cleansing oil and it's because I'm an eye rubber because even like if I use a cleansing oil I'm always just like Arr. so in order to prevent myself from stretching out my under eye bags and like pulling on my eyelashes I always use an eye makeup remover plus cleansing oil because Otherwise, I'm just gonna be going ham on my skin and I don't want that. I've had people ask Sephora like trying to sell me a cleansing balm when all I asked for was an eye makeup remover and I'm just like, I already used a cleansing balm. Um, I need an eye makeup remover because I know my habits. And I lift up the lid slightly so that way I can get the roots of my lashes cleaned up uh, because the mascara does extend that far. The current cleansing oil that I am using is the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse and so far so good. I've been really loving it. I use about one pump when I'm not wearing makeup and two when I am wearing makeup but usually that's heavy makeup. So today I'm going to do a one and a half and I will be doing this a little differently because most times I just kind of wash my face i put this on and then i jump in the shower and then i do my cleansing routine in there but today i'm gonna use a washcloth to like take it off because that's a bit easier to film <laughs> than like showing myself like dousing my face in water uh, so i'm gonna go ahead and smooth it over. so i'm gonna go ahead and smooth it over my face and neck even when I'm not wearing makeup, I do use a cleansing oil because it removes sunscreen. I use a cleansing oil every single night. Cleansing oil is great for getting into like pores. It's great for people with oily skin as well. And when you're using a cleansing oil, it is very important to use warm water. Um, I have heard of people using cold water with cleansing oils and that doesn't work. It is an oil, uh, so you definitely need to use warm water or else you'll end up with residue. All right, so makeup is removed. So I wet my hands and kind of dampened the face a little bit. So for nighttime, my cleanser that I use is the Neutrogena Naturals Purifying Facial Cleanser. This is a really nice daily facial cleanser. Um, if you have combo oily skin, combo dry skin, then I definitely recommend this. If you have oily skin, I recommend this. It's nice and gentle. If you have dry skin, it might be a bit too drying for you. Um, it does have like willow bark in there, so it's great for acne. The pH is also nice and balanced, so I definitely recommend this cleanser. It's not too stripping on the skin either. Um, so I'm just gonna rub it in, foam it up. Uh, for the most part, I just use my hands. I do have my Foreo Luna Mini, but then I haven't charged it in a very long time and I do need to clean it. So for the time being, I am just using my hands. Okay, get your dampened cloth. I'm using the other end of the cloth um, and go ahead and rinse off the cleanser. Make sure you're careful too if you're using a washcloth. You don't want to tug on the skin too much. Um, so make sure you do it gently. I'm trying to do it gently, but that's not my forte. So my face is still damp. Usually I leave my face still damp 
whenever I cleanse and then I go straight into my skincare routine as quickly as possible. I don't really want my skin to dry out too much, but there are occasions where I do. So today, like I said, I'm going to do what I typically would do on a regular night. So with my face still damp, a little bit more than damp actually. So my usual nighttime toner, I'm going to use the Pixi Glow Tonic Exfoliating Toner. It has 5% glycolic acid, which is an AHA, and it will help to chemically exfoliate your skin. So you end up with a really beautiful glow with fresh new skin basically. I just apply it in my hand and I dab it onto my face. Uh, so dab it all around. Um, I don't apply it to my neck because I do have eczema and that's going to irritate it. So I try to avoid that area. When I do use a hydrating toner though, I do apply it to my neck and my decollete. Uh, but as far as HAs go, I don't apply that to my neck because that's just going to be terrible. I'm going to get like a flare up. Tonight I'm going to use Curology because I skipped last night I believe. Um, so the thing with Curology though is that you do have to apply it onto dry skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry up really quickly. So my skin is dry enough, I'm going to go ahead and use Curology. My prescription has 4% azelaic acid, 1% clinamycin, and 4% niacinamide. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this to the problem areas. So my prescription helps with a little bit of hyperpigmentation from acne scarring. Um, it's also helping with texture and brightening. So this is what I've been doing for the past almost year. I think in April actually. March or April is going to be a year. I think I'm going to do a video on my Curology journey because that's going to be exciting. I like, I've been looking at the photos, my before and after photos, and my skin has just improved dramatically. Um, and I really hope that it's something that will help you all figure out some of your skincare issues as well. So tonight is masking night. I'm going to actually use a sheet mask and I actually am going to use these Leaders First and Pool Mask. I received these from Leaders uh, as a gift and basically I'm going to give these a shot for the first time. I will say that I am putting down an affiliate link down below. These ampoule masks are on sale for buy one get one free. So if you use the link down below, I'm just letting you know it is an affiliate link. Today I'm going to use the Aqua Ringer First Ampoule Mask, which is for wrinkle care, but it also helps with moisturizing the skin. This is what it looks like, which is very different from a regular sheet mask product. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And it is soaked in essence, which is brilliant. So if you don't, so if you have like uh, empty ones, then you can go ahead and do. So it comes with a stick like this, and wipe off the excess. One thing that I do like to do before I apply sheet mask is I like to use some of the excess essence to prime my skin. I'm gonna do this somehow. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and dab it around. Okay, so I think one of the basic rules of skincare is to go from thinnest to thickest. So the Curology treatment is fairly thick. It's almost the last serum that you want to use, but the thing also is, and I struggle with this myself, is that it is a treatment, so I feel like having it as one of the first things that your skin get is very important. Uh, which is why I use the Curology first. And I guess that helps because you have to wait and let it dry anyways. Um, so this is something that I'm struggling with. Do I do my sheet mask first or do I do my Curology first? Because I do want, you know, the most effective treatment for my pigmentation and everything like that. But at the same time, it's like, it is thicker in consistency than my sheet mask. Okay, so this, I just kind of unwound it and this is actually really cool. So. I'm gonna keep that and maybe wind up some of my other uh, dry sheet masks. I do have a how to use a sheet mask video on my channel. I will go ahead and link that down below. But this one you can wear for 10 to 20 minutes. Knowing me, I'm gonna go watch How I Met Your Mother for like an hour. <laughs> and we'll see how long this lasts, but it smells really good, not too bad. It's not irritating and the fit is very nice. It just, it's perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna extend it down to my neck. 
so I will be back. I'm going to leave this on for who knows how long. So time is up. I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off. It stayed nice for a while. I, I like to lay down with the sheet mask because it really just, I don't know, it just feels really good. Um, I'm going to use the excess and wipe it on and around. So the skin is still nice and damp, which is what you want. You don't want your skin to fully dry. Um, so let's go ahead and move on to the next step. I always like to include some type of anti-aging product in my nighttime skincare routine. So tonight I'm using the Ordinary Buffet, which is a formulation of like nine different peptides, I believe, and it's good for anti-aging. It has too many things for you even to talk about. Like I don't. It's called a buffet because there are just so many different like anti-aging and wrinkling type of stuffs in here. Um, so I just apply one drop on each like large section of the face basically and let's go ahead and smooth it into the skin you don't want to rub it into the skin too much basically my rule of thumb is smooth it over the skin so long as there is proper lubrication and then after you kind of lose the lubrication i like to start to pat it into the skin because you don't want to tug on the skin too much you don't, you don't want to cause premature sagging and aging. You don't want to tug it too much. Okay, so just try to get it evenly all over the face. Let's move on to eye cream. So I'm using the Benton Fermentation Eye Cream, which is one of my holy grails. I'm actually thinking that I might finish this one. Uh, so I just apply a small-ish amount onto my ring finger and it is plenty for both under eyes so I'm gonna try and take about half. It's always a guesstimate um, And I start in the inner corners and I type of I kind of just like feather it as well as I can and then also around this area this area around my nose bridge tends to get dark really easily and just go ahead and start tapping away just keep tapping until it absorbs well enough and I kind of extend it out this way because both of my parents have crow's feet and then onto the eyelids a little bit too because you don't want that to be too dry eye cream after eye cream I go ahead and I move on to facial oil my nightly facial oil is the fresh sea berry moisturizing face oil go ahead and I apply a few drops in the wide parts of my face again head and I spread on the CeraVe moisturizing cream so you don't need much I'm just gonna go ahead and there's oil trying to get into my eye Okay, so that's pretty much all for my nighttime skincare routine. This is just like what I would do on a regular. So nothing too fancy and nothing like too extensive, I feel. So thank you so much for joining me tonight. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye.